I may go and kick my bike, something like that. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> he kicks his bike. <laughs> okay. He doesn't kick his wife. D Dutch, my Dutch, bike, my, not Dutch my people. Wife. <laughs> Dutch people don't kick bikes. They like oh, the bikes, eh? They throw them into the canal. <laughs> Stuart, how long do you stay mad? Yeah. I stay mad as long as it takes to, to get mad. Yeah. And how long mm. does it take to get mad? But you, you heard of don't get mad? <laughs> don't get mad, get even, it's better. Get even, eh? that's it. That's what I'm trying to get with KLM and BA. Get even. Now stop <laughs> about this KLM business. Okay. You're always putting our <laughs> national pride proud down. You know, it's oh, the flying I, Dutchman. I, I, I mean, I don't, I don't mean to be disrespectful <laughs> to your national identity, but I think <laughs> a, a country needs more than one airline. Okay. I, I think people need choice. I mean, I'm not being disrespectful to your flag carrier, but people in Holland need choice. All right. They like choice. So, uh, if you can let me get on with my interview. Oh, I'm very <laughs> sorry. <laughs> this is we have an appointment with a, a company that um, le uh, lets out property. Yes. It's not, not the airline, it's my new business. At it's the a new business. It's a new business, yeah. So is it's, it it's on, the strat on its way and you already start a new business? We're starting a new business, yeah. If you think the airline was crazy, listen to this. Okay. Um, I believe that the internet is going to take off. More and more people will need to use the internet. Mm -hmm. And the easiest and best way to uh, sort of let them use the, the internet is to rent big spaces in the center of town you can call them cafes, but I think cafe is the wrong term. Internet cafes. Internet cafes, but I we think... We have one in Amsterdam. I, I'm sure you do, and there are plenty in London, but they're very small, all of them, and yes, not professionally true. run. No. So I'm talking about bigger and, and better run. Excuse me, that's a phone. Oh. <laughs> Hello? I, I'll be there in about uh, five, ten minutes. What can I be of use uh, in, this, in, in, in this meeting? How can I be of use? Right. Um, what can I do for you? The, can I make the, notes? The, the idea is that they are trying to convince us as much as we're trying to convince them. Yes. So they have the property, they have they the building, have the property and we, want the we have the business, or we're trying to start a business. Yeah. Now, they're going to tell us that their property is the best for our business, mm -hmm. but they're worried that we, <laughs> we might go bust <laughs> because it's a new business. They don't know how long it will succeed. So how long it will stay in business or whether it would succeed. So, so I need to tell them we need to Mr. Stelius never goes bust. That, if you can tell them that, that okay. would be a good idea. Never would they bust. believe you? Yes. <laughs> okay, let's see. <laughs> it's not in your uh, dictionary uh, yeah. to go bust. So how but many, you know, you know how what, many what internet cafes do you want to open? Well, to start with, to in start order to with. test whether it works or not, I think we need four in London. Four. Could become a bit like McDonald's. You know, there's one uh, on every corner. One of the guys is the estate agent. Which and the other one? two are my colleagues. The estate agent is the one with a tie. Anybody who works for EasyJet doesn't wear a tie. Yeah, Duncan, good morning. morning. John, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, personal assistant of my, my personal assistant for, for the day from Hi. Holland. How are you? How do you do? Now, in order not to intimidate the people, why don't you wait here? Kick, kick some ass. Okay. okay, I'll try. Yeah, what do you know about spell today? Yeah. So are we in business? Uh, we think so. I mean, it's a very conservative company. Congratulations, good choice. <laughs> very good choice. I think we did put up a good show. But um, it's a very conservative company, and they heard the concept, and. Uh, Smack, a bit like you. <laughs> but you know, this man never goes bust. Never. It's not in his uh, diary. Okay. Okay. See you guys. Bye. Let's grab a taxi. Okay, I got one. <laughs> Shall I open the door for you? No, no, I open the door for you. No, no, Mrs. Tennis, come on. <laughs> You're my boss. Get in. Did you make a deal with people? Now, the, the owners of that development said that uh, they're interested in something like that, but they want to think about it and consider whether it's the right concept for them. So, again, a conservative company trying to make a decision at the board level. Do we want these crazy guys in our, in our building? <laughs> you are crazy but structured, you know? I think, I think uh, that's true in the sense that I like risks, but I like calculating my risks. But you're not a kamikaze pilot. Well, no, definitely not. Oh? And I'm not a gambler. Not a gambler. I, no. I don't, I, well, I've been to casinos, but obviously I don't like gambling as such. I don't like putting my money on the roulette. 
and waiting to see whether I win or not. I like to calculate my odds. Yeah. I should have the, the been, the, why, the should have been there with you because yeah. I, I could have told them that, that they could trust you, you know? I think <laughs> you're a fighter, you're a kind of pit bull, no? The problem is that for every fighter there are people who have things to lose. Yeah. You know, you get into the airline business, you're a fighter, you're supporting, you know, the people and offering low fares. You know, the KLMs of this world have a lot to lose and, and mm -hmm. they don't like that. And we need a lot of money. Tons. Yes, <laughs> we need a lot of Airplanes money. Airplanes are very expensive. That's why, that's so why. But uh, his bankability is okay, isn't well, it? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard rumors to that. <laughs> Good. Well. Um, so where are we having lunch, Mrs. Stallions? I think we should go to the airport. We'll have a. Do you mind having a, a bite read at the airport canteen? Oh, it's not very. Okay. What's what's the culture of bankers? Stuffy. Yeah. Stuffy. Conservative. Say Conservative. No <laughs> Oops, they throw money around, but only if you beg on your knees to get it. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's not very nice. No, well, I'm joking. Hey, the new uniform. Is this the new uniform? Yeah. Hi, how are you? I'm good. About the skirt length. Uh, uh, well, Two fingers above the knee. So for a young I company... A, I think that's a safe, safe distance from the knee. <laughs> a safe distance. For a young company you need, you know... Yeah, not everybody has the same legs as you, eh? Well, she has. She has, but... Yeah, but we have to bend over. Oh, well, what <laughs> like... So, oh, okay, I see the problem. Okay. <laughs> you look, uh, well, colourful. Right. So how many airplanes do we have, Mr. Stelius? Of these? Together, the two of us have 14 now. We have 14 yeah. airplanes. <laughs> That's good news. Did you Hi. have a nice flight? Yeah, nice flight? Yeah. Sorry. How do you spell Dwayne? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not on the second. No, no, no. That's his one. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, that's enough. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. It's like you're running for president here, Mr. Stallions. Wait. After you. Thank you. Hi. Hi, how are you? Normally I would be sitting in the jump seat, in, jump seat. In, okay. in the cockpit, yes. but today because uh, I have uh, my PA with me, we're, we're sitting back here. The uh, thing I usually do is I stand up, most people would recognize me so I don't have to introduce myself and I ask them what they think about the company. Uh, so I say, you know, have you flown before? Uh, do you fly often? What do you do? Are you traveling on business, it's pleasure? Marketing research. Yeah, it's, it's my research. It's my way of knowing what my customers think. Now, can I have my PA here to do some translation in Dutch? Yeah. <laughs> Miss jullie nou dat kopje koffie niet, jongens? Nee, koffie niet. Wat zeg je? Kort vluchtje niet. They don't miss the cup of coffee. Suppose you are in Seattle at the Boeing factory. And you have to get back to the to the to uh, EasyJet immediately. <laughs> but there I can are see the question coming. But there are only <laughs> British Airways flights available. I have managed to avoid British Airways for a whole year. My last flight with them was last January. So far, I haven't had to compromise my position. But uh, if if it's if it's that urgent, then I maybe fly with them. I don't know. <laughs> I've tried so far and I've succeeded in avoiding. The only British Airways flight I took was the first flight of our rival airline on the inaugural flight. And I was dressed in orange boiler suits with my staff and we caused havoc. <laughs> so we only go on board to cause havoc. Did, did you answer my question? Would you go on this British Airways flight? Depends how urgent the meeting back in, in London was. <laughs> <laughs> It was very important. If it was very, very important, yes. Very important. Uh, uh, yes, I, I would have to. 
it, maybe I will wear a mask or something, I don't know, a hat. So the British Airways crew wouldn't recognize me. <laughs> Mr. Stelios. Oh. <laughs> because. Because of Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day and your birthday. Yeah, exactly. And because you are a man with very big hearts, this is my present to you. Thank you very much. Thank you for being my PA for a whole day. Pleasure working for you. Thank you. Thank you. All I'll right. keep this.